Hey, what's up guys and welcome back. I'm Van and we are all the LFR family. Thank you so much for clicking the play button, man. We about to have some fun. We about to check out some Bill Burr. Um, this journey is called Bill Burr Destroys PC Culture. Don't forget guys, hit that subscribe button, share this drink, like this drink, do everything that you're supposed to do when you go to somebody's daggone. You know, it's like coming to somebody's house and they feed you and you just want to say thank you. Well, the way you say thank you over here is by hitting that subscribe button in the like button all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and uh check this joint out y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below without further ado and shout out to all my patreon members and all the people who support this channel man y'all are dope thank you so much man on i had to check this joint out on facebook because on the youtube joint it's not it's not on the youtube joint it's a real short clip so uh yeah there's a little difference all right let go doing stand-up outside of my own country yeah no not because of you that's how it's become fucking u.s everything's so goddamn every fucking joke you tell well what did you mean about that i didn't go to the gym today are you calling me fat i feel fucking triggered i wonder does he ever check his comments his comment section and, and I mean to see what people say about his um, his videos and stuff because oh my gracious I bet he probably doesn't I bet he probably doesn't and if I was him I probably wouldn't either because oh my gracious people be tearing me up just for checking your stuff out bro but they love you man Bill Burr funny as hell I right, let go I didn't go to the gym today are you calling me fat I feel fucking triggered. <laughs> Gotta fucking apologize to everybody. This is how screwed up my country is right now. Do you, you know, you know Brian Cranston, right? That dude did a movie. He played a quadriplegic. And people gave him shit. <laughs> Be like, why is there an able-bodied person playing a quadriplegic? It's like, it's because it's called acting. You dumb fuck. <laughs> See, if he was a quadriplegic playing a quadriplegic, that's not acting. <laughs> that's just fucking laying there saying shit that someone else wrote. <laughs> so tell. I'm oh, sorry, guys. I'm oh, sorry. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's called acting. It's clearly called acting. But wouldn't that same thing apply if you go to the movie and you see, um, you want to see a, a heterosexual couple and instead of um, seeing that, you see a man and a, a transvestite and then you figure out that the man, the woman is a man and then you get pissed off. But then they'd be like, it's called acting. He's acting like a woman. Oh shit, I'm gonna catch hell for that. I'm going to catch hell for that. God damn it, man. I'm going to catch hell for that. All right, let go. Let's hurry up and move on so won't nobody see that part right there. That's not acting! <laughs> That's just fucking laying there saying shit that someone else wrote. So tell us, what, what did you do to prepare for the role? Well, I dove head first into the shallow end of a pool when I was 23. I feel like I've been preparing for this role for my whole life. <laughs> Right, what is up next for you? Uh, well, they're gonna do a reboot of Top Gun. Uh, I'm gonna fly it with my plug. And uh, the co-pilot's gonna be transgendered. So everybody will be happy. She won't. I pretty much walked him into that. I think me and Bill Burke kind of think alike. We on the same same brain waves a little bit just ah, mm, ah, mm, ah, mm, ah. that's how we think man that's how we think totally non-pc totally non-pc <laughs> i learned my plan and uh, the co-pilot's gonna be transgendered so everybody will be happy she won't die her discarded dick will block her head from the canopy did he just now say her discarded dick her discarded dick. Did he just now say her discarded dick? Bro, he didn't say her discarded dick. 
Wow. Okay. All right. Don't die. Her discarded dick will block her head from the canopy. There'll be a gender-neutral bathroom on the plane. How fucking dumb is that? That's literally like watching a movie. Why didn't you have a murderer play a murderer? And how come the guy he shot? I saw him in another movie. I mean, what the fuck is going on? Come on, Bill. What the hell? They just had one camera set up? What the... Okay, I know I'm not... Uh, okay, that was hilarious what he just now said, but come on. You saw he just clearly walked out this frame, and he was like, well, we just got one little... One little tripod right here. And, you know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You walk out of it, that's it. This X on the stage, that's where your ass is supposed to stand. Don't step outside the X. Don't step outside the X. <laughs> what the hell, bruh? But that's hilarious. <laughs> No, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I think white women started it. White women did start it. Ah, it's the worst. The fucking worst. It's all they do is bitch mode and complain. I had no idea how difficult it was to be a white woman in the United States of America. Evidently, it's, it's really difficult. Do you have any idea what it's like to be me? Well, I imagine it would be slightly less awesome than my life. <laughs> what happened to you today, sweetheart, huh? Did they not chill your rosé? You know? Was the trolley not running down at the mall? What happened? No, it's unreal. I'm really fucking annoyed how white women have the fucking balls to throw my white privilege in my face. You know? <laughs> Sort of separate themselves from these white males with their white male privilege. It's like, bitch, you're sitting in the jacuzzi with me. The fuck are you talking about? He makes some great points, but I have to say, God damn it, these noise cancellation headphones, man. I swear to goodness, man. I can't hear myself talking to these dreams. The sound in them are amazing. They are freaking amazing. All right, Bill Burr. Um, the different the thing the thing with the women are um, the white women are, and I'm not a white woman. Surprise, nigga. <laughs> Just in case some of y'all didn't know, um, but uh, white women are um, um, are minorities as well, um, as it as it goes to the the pecking call of the United States of America. Um, not sure many people know that, but they are. Um, and that's, I'm not gonna get too deep in that, but they definitely feel like, um, and they have a lot of um, a lot of information to back it as to why they feel like they are um, overlooked and, and whatnot. But for the sake of fun, I ain't gonna go too, in, too much into it because I understand exactly what Bill Burr is saying, if that makes sense. I understand exactly what Bill Burr is saying so now that that is clear, we gonna move forward then. Huh? Back to the headphones. Uh, let's get it. Well, just like, bitch, you're sitting in the jacuzzi with me. The fuck are you talking about? Yeah, put your fucking whining. Look, here's a little caveat here. So you don't think I'm a complete asshole right out of the gate. All right, if you're fucking, if you live in some honey boo boo lifestyle on the Appalachian Trail, you know, your uncle just banged you in the dirt. All right, I can listen to you. No, one of my fantasies is I want to drive by like a woman's rally and just say the most sexist shit I can think of just to watch them lose their minds. And I'll just drive by real slow and be like, yeah, why don't you get back in the kitchen where you belong? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrong as hell for laughing at that, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my God.
I know wrong as hell for laughing at that, man. You know, that's something that reminds me of my my wife, man. Like, my wife be like, you can't just come in a room and just start kissing on me whenever you want. I'd be like, why? You my woman. She'd be like, I'm not your woman. I'm my own woman. I'm like, bullshit. You're my woman. She'd be like, I'm my own woman. And no means no. I say, God damn it, you signed a, a, a contract to be wedded to me. I can kiss you in the mouth if I want. She say, shit. But since women are in charge, man, they run stuff, man. I'll be like, okay, you got it. <laughs> you got it, baby. You got it, baby. Yeah, why don't you get back in the kitchen where you belong? <laughs> Just to look in the rearview mirror, watching him fly, flipping out in the road, spinning around like Leatherface at the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, no, it's a very. Uh, I don't know. Times are changing, I guess. I don't know. Per usual, guys, I want to hear what you guys got to say about this in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van. We are all the LFR family. I look forward to seeing y'all on the next video, man. Y'all are amazing. And um, yeah, that's, that's all I have for now. That's all I have. Check out my other Bill Burgeries too. Also visit LFR JoJo's channel. The very first link in the description is below. And it is hoodie time, guys. It's hoodie, it's sweat hood time. It's sweat hood time. So here you go, man. Purchase you some merch. Purchase you a sweat hood. Show me in, um, either on uh, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter that you purchased a sweat hoodie. Or if you want a special drink, hit me up and we'll, we'll get you a special drink made up. Um, either on Cash App or PayPal. And if you do that, um, either one, go to Teespring, get a hoodie. Or come straight to me and get a hoodie. Um, I will make sure that I do a comedy reaction for you. Any comedy reaction you want me to do, all right? That's pretty much it. I am Van, we are all the LFR family. I, I look forward to seeing y'all on the next one and feel free to pop in my Patreon or the Discord and say hello to me. I promise I'll hit you back. All right, peace out.